Panel A5, Voyage of the Woodhouse. Some of the panels, like magical ships, sail us into times long past. The narrative of this panel takes place in 1657 at the dawn of the Quaker movement. Robert Fowler was a Quaker mariner from Yorkshire. He can be seen on the left beneath the shell of his new boat, the Woodhouse, which he believed to have a divine purpose. After meeting George Fox in London, Fowler agreed to take eleven Quakers to America. These eleven are embroidered along the bottom of the panel waiting to board. They were no ordinary passengers, but missionaries bound for a land that considered Quakers to be heretics. Six of them had been imprisoned and deported from New England only the year before. The voyage was not without its dangers. Favourable winds prevented capture by a Dutch man of war, and in those distant days there remained the uncertainties of navigation. Above the boat, emerging from a cloud, is the hand of God, whose gold thread suggests sunset. This is a design adapted from the Bayeux tapestry. It indicates the straight, true course inspired by faith that the Woodhouse followed. In the centre, the boat can be seen cutting through the dancing waves. Beneath the hull is a shoal of purple fish embroidered by children. I haven't never not seen a purple fish, said one boy when questioned about his choice of colour. Robert Fowler believed the fish represented prayers that provided light when his thoughts were most dark. It is appropriate, then, that the shoal is so brightly revealed. The Woodhouse reached New Amsterdam at the beginning of August. Towering above the city's low roofs, to the right of the panel, the image of a future skyline is faintly visible. By 1672, George Fox was able to preach freely in this city, whose name was now... New York.